Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little fun. I am self -quarant quarantining, self quarantining myself with my family. Figured I would do a really fun makeup look that I've seen on Instagram. In my next video, I'm gonna do a haul for quarantining outfits, like loungewear so that I needed to stock up on. I don't really have a lot of lounge clothes. If you are like me and you hoard palettes and makeup, you only reach to the more natural makeup that you have. Try something different. Try reaching up to those palettes that you haven't used in a while and do something fun and creative with your makeup. I also got the new Dior concealers, the Skin Correct and Skin Glow 24 hour radiant perfection foundations. Have the glow one and then the regular one. It looks like a matte or more satiny packaging. So I'm assuming it's a more satiny foundation. And I also got two concealers that look spot on like my color. So I'm gonna be using these. So I'm going to prep my skin with you guys because I went straight into removing my facial hairs and I did not prep my skin. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with an essence. This is the Tatcha Essence. I'm gonna push that into my skin. So Amma's actually working from home. <laughs> and he's working on the other end of my office. So, can... so he's working right over there. So if you see him going in and out, Pretty much just making use of the time we have while Adam is napping. Oh, also, what should already be up on my page is Adam's sleep training video. If you would love to know more about sleep training and what I do, check out that video. I go into detail on how I got my baby to sleep on a schedule and by himself. I broke my camera. Uh, the one that I usually use, it's the M50. I was adjusting the legs and I didn't realize that the camera wasn't actually sitting on the tripod properly and it fell. Bam, smashed, the lens broke and I was devastated. Totally forgot, I have a way better camera that I used to use. I just got comfortable with the M50 and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the M50 makes me look prettier. This one is just blah, but it actually is a lot more high definition. Probably why I avoid using this one, but I'm gonna go in with these super active capsules that are hyaluronic and biopeptide microspheres. So this is from Beauty Pie. I'm just gonna take one of these. You put them to sleep? What put the, um, the lullaby thing on, or the white voice. So I actually have on my phone, I could just turn on some Mozart from his nanny cam. How crazy is that? So it says like, sound list. We usually like to have white noise. We've been using this for like, what, six months? And we had no idea you can actually play music on his baby monitor. So these are the little capsules. I'm gonna take this and just crack it off. Drop it into my palm. I guess this will be for my face. And then another one for my neck. But sometimes they are quite generous. Like they'll be like, oh, apply this amount to your face and this amount to your neck. And really, you don't really use that much product. You definitely need another one for your neck. This is the perfect amount, actually. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Oh my God, my hands are so ashy. So ashy. It's because I wash my hands like 50 times a day because of the coronavirus. It has like a silicone-y texture. So I'm gonna go in with my Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. I've been using this for like half a decade. Love it so, so much. It's for hyperpigmentation, dark spots, any um, discoloration, melasma, any dark spots. You'll see a huge difference in just like a few weeks. And it's supposed to be 62 times more concentrated than other vitamin C products out there. Some real good stuff. Been using it for a long time. See like things like this, a few dark spots here, it's lightening, and then all my old dark spots are starting to fade. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with a nice SPF. I love using this product. It was gifted to me. It's the Dr. David Jack SPF. And then I was like putting in the links for you guys down in the description box. I didn't realize how like ridiculously expensive it was. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna finish it off. But I mean, for those of you who can't afford this, the La Roche Posay SPF is banging. Now that my skin is perfectly prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and mattify my T-zone area. And then like this laugh line here that tends to get quite shiny. I'm using the Lancome Prep and Matte Primer. I use this quite a bit actually. I also use some of this on my brows so that it can sort of absorb any of the hydration and moisture that's on there. 
And then I'm just gonna let this dry. I applied some of the Instant Anti-Age Eraser from Maybelline. Love, love, love this color, especially the caramel color to correct. It's sort of like a tinge of orange, which is like a perfect base. Also, it not only corrects, but it covers. And then you just go in with your foundation or a concealer for extra coverage, but I love this stuff. Right, so I'm gonna go in with the new Dior Skin Glow Foundation. I haven't tried this, by the way. It says it's 24 hour wear radiant perfection skin carrying foundation. And this one has like a more glossier packaging, whereas this one's more matte. So I'm assuming they both do the same thing. One is more of a glow finish. One is more of a satiny finish. Actually, I'm gonna go in with the satiny finish because I'm in that type of mood. And this is in the shade 4N. I'm gonna go in. So I have the foundation on. It's a bit orangey, but I think it's because of the concealer I put on, which is totally fine. I'm gonna go in with some highlights, some contour. It is definitely a matte finish, and mattified everything. I'm gonna go in with two new concealers, and one of them seems to be more brighter, and it's in 3W. I'm just going to, ooh, I like the wand. Apply this, and hopefully this will brighten and take away some of that orange. And this is like the perfect shade. This concealer is nice. It like neutralized the orange, brightened it up a little bit. I'm really feeling it. And you know what? I put it on. I mean, it didn't crease as much. It's creased a little bit, but usually with a really creamy full coverage concealer like this, it would crease a lot more. I wonder how it will hold up without setting, but we gotta set. This Smashbox palette has been my favorite contour palette thus far. It has the basics of what you need. I use this to bronze and contour. I use this to dust off any extra baking and just brighten up any like areas I want to highlight more. Nice highlighter, beautiful highlighter, blush, blush, perfect. And I also find that this palette is beautiful and would definitely work for like deeper um, skin tones. So definitely try this out if you are a medium or medium dark or even dark. I'm pretty sure this color would look absolutely stunning and would show up really nicely. This is nice, warm, toasty, and very pigmented. A little trick I kind of discovered is taking that and just dusting off the bake. This is probably the first palette that I actually use every single color in it. So I use this for contouring, I use this to dust off the bake, I use these for blushes, I use these for highlighters. Like there's not like a color in there that I will not hit pen. Do you know what I mean? Thank you Smashbox. I'm gonna go in with this P. Louise primer. It is amazing.
Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it started off as like a chatty get ready with me and then it turned into just like me. But I hope you enjoyed this. It was so much fun creating this makeup look. I wish I could actually wear it out because I saw this eye on Instagram and it inspired me and I have like the perfect outfit in mind. But I'm quarantined at home. Well, I self-quarantined myself. Make sure you join the family. Subscribe. Hit that little bell notification next to my name. Comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see more beauty tutorials or if you'd like to see more mom content or if you would like to see more home content. Hope you enjoyed this. Mwah! Play around with the makeup that you have at home. Some people would say read a book. I'd say like utilize the makeup that you haven't like touched in a while and just play around with things and get more comfortable. Figure out what your style is and if you already know your style, just like express it to the fullest. Tag me if you actually end up doing this makeup look. Thanks for watching guys. Mwah! Bye!